In this video, we are going to see about reactive forms, uh, which are often called as model driven forms. So, here the logic is written in the component side and uh, template, uh, there will be less, to, uh, less work. Okay, so only we will declare what are the uh, necessary things required for giving the inputs, will be given in the form uh, in the template, and, counter, uh, and component will handle all the logic calls. Uh, inputs everything will be handled with the take care of uh, by the component class so record forms uh, reactive forms are model driven forms so which have uh, handles all the inputs so whose values over change uh, time to time so for example if i am inputting a value that will be reflected immediately on the uh, output page okay so if i am uh, changing any corrections immediately some backspaces and inputting new values means that will be immediately invoked in the output so that it is uh, that fast okay so what are the values you given it will immediately uh, reflected in the output page okay so that is uh, the power of the reactive forms that way it is mainly used for a uh, uh, complicated logic center okay so i'm creating an empty uh, 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 application of a reactive application angular application so after that i am in i am including a form model in the component class using form group form control and form arrays so i am uh, i am creating the html form resembling the form model and binding all the html form to the form model and I use this to the uh, to create the reactive forms okay so i will show us the uh, input output okay. so for uh, installing the angular forms you have to use this npm install angular forms so once uh, then only the forms uh, package will be available in the node modules then only we can import this uh, forms module, uh, reactive forms module inside this app.module.ts uh, file and also in the component classes where we are using it and we have to import uh, this forms module or the reactive forms module inside the imports in the app.module.ts then only uh, this reactive forms will be engaged okay here I have a template file so I am rendering a title from the component class and then I have a form so I have a form group which belongs to contact form so the uh, submit will be invoked with the on submit form and I have a list of values first name last name email gender okay so all these are uh, embedded with the form control name with the uh, same control name I have given first name last name everything okay so this will help us to render the output uh, immediately okay so the remaining values are uh, is married uh, value and uh, then I have a country so I have a list uh, for the country select list for the country so I have a ID and a name and I have a form, form control name uh, country so inside that I have an option so for that in the ng value I am giving c dot id I will tell you what is that so next line I have that uh, star ng for is equal to let's see of the country list so the country list will be populated and it will be listed as a options okay so india usa and uh, england will be listed there so that id will be uh, taken by the options uh, tab ng value and the value uh, for that id will be given in the uh, close in close in the options tab okay and we have the, i have the submit uh, button and then uh, i have a pre tag so which will uh, input all the values i am which i am uh, typing so that we will get immediately uh, focused on the output uh, inside this free tag so contact form that value will be immediately converted to json and uh, shown to us inside the component class i have a title mdf so which will be rendered there after that i have a constructor empty constructor and i have a country list so inside this country list i have three uh, new countries uh, one India, two USA, and three England. So one is for CID and another is for C dot name. Okay, so that is given here, and three values are manipulated here. And once the contact form is got, once I got the contact form, so I will create a new form group. So inside this form group, I have I have getting the control of the uh, values. Uh, control of the values are given in the input. So first for first name, I have a form control, so uh, which I already declared in the uh, template okay so first name last name email gender is married country everything is uh, taken uh, control from that uh, template file to here with the help of this form control and then on the on submit 
I'm just consoling all the contact form uh, uh, values. So first one, second one, I'm getting this dot contact form. So the contact form uh, above is manipulated here with all the outputs uh, uh, given up. Compared to the truncated one forms, I have one extra class here. So this is the country class. So this class has two values, ID and this name. So both belongs to string type and I have a constructor for manipulating this ID and string name. So I am setting this ID to the ID and the name to the name. So all these values are manipulated uh, and given in the template form. So based on this uh, name only the CAD is based on the CAD only this name is generated through the help of this class only. So if we are writing it in a separate uh, class it will be very useful for us. So this is uh, my input. Before my input I have an MDF form. So first name, last name, email, gender everything is given. And if you see the result, everything is null. Okay. So this is the output. So I'm giving, I'm typing the value Charlie in the first name, and the Charlie will getting immediately feed back in the output first name Charlie. Okay. After that, I'm giving the second name, and it will be in, immediately invoked and. Uh, email everything okay so in the first name charlie i am giving backspace deleting something and adding some new space new things means it will immediately get uh, uploaded in the first name that is the uh, reactive form speed okay so that way it is called as reactive form we are whatever all changes uh, we did we did at that moment that will be uh, immediately get enough by the moment okay so that is the power of it so once i give all the outputs i am getting the uh, outputs okay First name Charlie, second name Chaplin, third name that uh, third is nice email uh, charlie.chaplin.gmail.com and I have a gender email and uh, I use my read is true and the country code is 2. Okay, so the country just in the CSA, so the country code is 2. So that's how it is giving the uh, output. So just go through this example and work out, it will work well. Okay, thanks team, thanks for the support, cracks software interviews.